This is a trigonometry book that um, I have had for a while. It's called Plane and Spherical Trigonometry. I was trying to get the sticker off. I had like a little sticker. It's one of the problems with used books. Companies put little stickers and stuff on them and like when you take them off it damages the book sometimes. So see it caused some damage there to my copy. But um, I think this is the first edition. Um, let's open it up. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, wow, the smell. Oh, oh, uh, just let's just look at the copy right here. Look at this. This is 1954. Wow, yeah, I think this is the first edition by McGraw Hill. This is old. This is really old. Frank Eyes Jr., 1954, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. I just have to give it a whiff here. Just, oh, wow. Wow, piece of history here. So, first edition of this legendary book, Angles and Arc Length. So, where's, where's the. If you notice that there's no, it's missing, it just starts, right? There's no like contents on, on this particular edition for some reason. So my copy is missing uh, a table of contents. So it's probably because either this copy, well, it looks like a legit copy, right? I mean, Perhaps they just forgot to do it on the first edition. They forgot to have a table of contents. I don't know. If, I'm, I'm curious if you if you happen to have this exact copy. Um, do you have a table of contents? Doesn't look like it's missing or ripped out or anything. It just looks like. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. There it is. There is a table of contents. I I, I missed it. So there it is. I was like, how is that possible? Yeah. So it's just one page. It's just a one page. So I easily missed. Easily missed. I gotta give it a whiff here. It just it looks like it just ah oh, so nice. Yeah, so it does have a table of contents. False alarm there, but look at that. Perfect. You do this in a trig class. Like this is a great picture. It explains everything. It's good. You got some some problems here. You would do these like in, in trigonometry, you would do stuff like this. Which is this is a trigonometry book, so it makes sense. Trigonometric functions of a general angle. Yep. All these things you do in trigs. If you take trig, this uh, works as a great supplement for your trig class. You can also use this to learn trig on your own. Um, so yeah, this is definitely something you can use uh, for self-study, I think. It's really good. It's got so many work problems, too. I mean, look at all this. I'm sorry, I just have to smell it again. This, this book is awesome. Ah, oh, yes, yes. I will leave a link in the description to um, this book in case you want to check it out. But yeah, there's newer editions, I think. Always worked problems, with answers, so many answers. Trigonometric equations, it's awesome. Awesome stuff. Awesome for learning trig. I do have a trig course, by the way, it's on Udemy. But check out my website, mathsorcerer.com, and I have trig courses there. So you can actually take, I have two courses on trig, trig one and trig two, and it covers basically what you would learn in a um, trig class in college. So yeah mathsorcerer.com, check it out. And I'll leave a link in the description to this book in case you're interested in this book. So I think it's pretty cool. I just wanted to show it to you. It's one of the books here for my collection. Trigonometry, Shams Outline Series. Good luck.